champion of Zion, champion of Zion, champion of Zion, our destiny, our destiny, our destiny, our destiny, our destiny, our destiny. Maruti kidi bana kudubai, elenko merati antegele diata, sabada bala bada 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 ha, ragadam bari antegele diki diki ba ha, ragadam bari antegele diki diki, elenko bari antegele diki sinai, zipiri kida, zipiri kida, kaman choti diki diki ba, laruti jidi kubo, go ahead and edify yourself. In the Holy Ghost, go ahead and pray in the Spirit. Go ahead and pray in the Spirit. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Bante kanya bela tiki di bala daga daba. Rivi di dia, rivi di dia, rivi di dia. Barans kanya deko. Ela brigi di 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 baha. Rabadamia, rabadamia, rabadamia. Le kodem brigi de. Rivi di 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 bala daga daba. Lamina si dia. Lamina Sidia, Riki Pando Sikidi Balanta Kadeli Kidiba, Shabade Baladianta, Revi Dikidisianta, Le Rusi Tikatande, El Sanda Gabaha, El Sanda Gabaha, Rabadon de Gade, Rabadon de Gade, Lembradianta Dianta, Rabada Bada 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 Ravidi gidi ba, ravidi gidi ba, ravidi gidi ba, ravidi gidi ba, rapadi bidi gidi ba da ba da ba. Shaba da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da. Kaika irusi te kaba, e kabanda gede, e rakasiante, kra, homelong komi ataba ikombera, kapadani etenge, rusi die, rusi die, rusi die, ka 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 ka. Para kulu gudu bo, galakwa, 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 rasa bada bala bada ba, raga bada 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 ba. Ika londre gede, asa daila ka, ika sada diapa, likrete, esi breke de bala bada ba, aike iko kodiata, keke luzi ata ba, la rasa vizi, eli shada ba iko ba. Mano pete kidi ata, la konsera mbaba, asa deke 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 deke, inka bada badiante, masudia, ele sedi ata, la rata, la rata, la rata zo, la rata zo, la rata zo, deke 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 Sia, la rata, esa tena, esa tena, ya bada 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 bada. Y la cata bada bo, porque se te quiti 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 va. La rata di, la rata di, bada cata, bada cata, bada cata. Incomprende, le rudia, le rudia, sabrá de que te di, sabrá de que te di. Brata cata cata. Brata kata kata, brata kata kata, brata kata kata, braka, 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 do, rekende, akude, niruma, emereto, amirudiki, esekendelo, abadakadi, embravido, embravido. Where are the Holy Ghost? Seven minutes, seven minutes. Ali kapada bada bada bada. Inka dianta, eko dianta, bate kenyanta. Don't let the devil get in. You pray, you change. You pray, you change. You pray, you change. Aka dianta. When I'm praying in the Holy Ghost, I am stepping up. I am stepping up. I am changing. I am ascending. I am changing. I am ascending. I am left. The realms of men. I am left. The places of mere men. A paria, a paria. I have come into the realms of the Elohim. A papakiata, a lakata. When I pray the Holy Ghost, I switch. I switch. I switch. I switch from a man, from a mortal man, to an immortal man, from a mortal man, to an immortal man. 
irazo, irazo, tabaranta, inta pa 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 pa, kela kasi, kela kasi, kela kasi. In Jesus, let me pray. In Jesus, let me pray. Somebody here, you've been running on foot. You have used men as horses. Now it is time to change, to change, to change dimension. Hallelujah. So I'm going to be praying. Father, Father I, receive grace I receive grace for unnatural speed. For unnatural speed. I receive grace, I receive grace for, unnatural for unnatural speed. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. I receive grace. Anointing. Anointing. Power. For unnatural speed. For unnatural speed. I receive grace. some blessings, right? Amen. I thought that some of us are long overdue for certain blessings. So it's no longer process anymore. Because he said, you have caused men to trample upon our heads. We went through fire, we went through water. That brought us into a wealthy place, right? Now, some of us, our heads have been trampled on. We have gone through fire, we have gone through water. Now it is time to come 
into the wealthy place. It is time to come into the wealthy place. You are, ahead, you, are, you are going to go ahead and declare. I come. I come by power, by grace. I come into my wealthy place. I enter. I enter into my wealthy place. Into my wealthy place. By grace. By the grace of the Father. By the grace of Christ. I enter into my wealthy place. Go ahead and pray. But not see him. Let's come here and take the anta. Papa Dante kala de boho. Sabra de katia. Eko pande ke de ba. Sagadam bena ke de ba. Aka pada bianda. Eka de ke de ke de ke de ke de. Aka patengi ato. Aba takanda ke de ba. Epre ke de ke de ke de. Every human argument against your destiny, against your life, is over. Every human argument 
against your prosperity, against your financial prosperity, against your enthronement among the sons of men. Every human argument, every demonic argument, every argument from your foundation, every argument, every legal argument from your foundations, they come to an end right now. Every argument from your past, from your past that Satan is using to resist you, that argument is taken away and it is destroyed. That argument is taken away, taken out of the way and it is destroyed. You are free. You are free. Free in your body. Free in your soul. Free in your spirit. Free. Free financially. Free maritally. Free. Free. Ministerially. Free. 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 I command every chance to fall off. I command every chance to be broken. I command them to fall off. I announce liberty. You have felt in prison for too long. Now come out. Come out. In the name of Jesus Christ. You have felt in prison for too long. Now it's time to come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. You are free indeed. You are free indeed. Spiritually free. Free in your mind. Free to be all that God destined you to be in Christ Jesus. Free to, to be all that God destined you to be in life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Clap your feet. Pandeka bada bada. Have your seat, please. Shabada. Give God thanks as you give as you take your seat. Give Him praise as you take your seat. Melem bedi basi tala koriam bedi bemestai. Mam bera dins ko bedi dihas. Perus kalam breve dihas tai. Esidim breke deli gadas. Baras kenendeli arabadovash. I won't be preaching or teaching this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I will show us something quickly from the Bible. Amen. Amen. Just open your heart this morning, please. Hallelujah. Let your heart be open. Let your spirit be open. Let your mind, your soul be open. Be very expectant. And I, I trust you came with an expectation. Hallelujah. I trust you came with an expectation. Hallelujah. He said, I will grant the desires of your heart. So there must be a desire. Amen. There must be a desire in your heart. What you want him to do. What you want him to do. So, so he, as, as, as the word is coming, and as we begin to declare the mind of God, as we declare the mind of God, the, the, the spirit will be searching your heart to see what is in there. If there is a desire to grant, to fulfill, if there is a desire to fulfill, if there is a, a prayer to be answered, if there is a need to be met, the, the spirit will be searching. So let your heart be ex- it's, I mean, the expectation of faith. Hallelujah. The expectation of faith. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm reading from Hebrews chapter 3, verse 1. Hallelujah. We are for brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling. Amen. Partakers of the heavenly calling. Consider. Now look at you. He said you are partakers of the heavenly calling. And the word call here is an invitation. Hallelujah. And when you said yes to Jesus Christ, when you, when you said yes to him, you became a partaker of that calling. Are you following? You became a partaker. Amen. Now, a partaker of something, when you are a partaker of something, you know what that means? It means that you have a part. You have a share. Hallelujah. It means that you have a share of something. You have partaken. Amen. You know, you can come to seven days of life and not partake. Because there was, you were supposed to come and take your share. Hallelujah. Amen. You don't come to check us out to see how we are doing. Amen. You come to take something. I know if we come like that every time, we, we, there is, then, we would, then God, will not be, God will not disappoint us. Or we will not be disappointed with ourselves. Hallelujah. You come with a strong expectation in your heart. Lord, this is what I want you to do for me. And it must not just be an... You know, if, this, if it is not an expectation of faith, then it becomes a wish. There must be faith in your heart. 
that the one whom you are coming to is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ever think or ask of or ask for. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Wherefore, brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling, consider the apostle and high priest of our profession, Jesus Christ. Partakers. It's not metalambano, it's not even koinonia, it's metokos, which means to become a participant of something. So, I have become a participator. Amen. Not like this morning we have all participated together, right? Am I correct? We have, we have participated together in prayer, in worship. You know, there are those who come to church, right? And while the worship is going on, they are just aloof. And they, and they become, instead of becoming participators, they become spectators. You know, in the, in the football field, they are participators and they are spectators. Participators are paid in cash and in kind. Spectators, all they get at the end of the day is what? The knowledge that they had an experience. Oh, I was there, it was glorious. But what happened to you? What did you gain as a result of being there? Seven days. Oh, I was there on the final day, the, the seventh day. That's Sunday morning I was there. But what happened to you? What did you become? What, what, what did you receive as a result of being there on that Sunday morning? Are you following? Thank you, Holy Spirit. So, spectators are not spectators don't, don't, don't receive anything except the knowledge of an experience. I had an experience. It was good. It was wow. I saw how, how Messi dribbled and scored. I saw how, you know, C7 scored that goal. I saw what this person did. Ah, you can even analyze. Right? But nobody will pay you for analyzing. Amen. But every official on that field that day is paid. Even the sanitation, even the people that, that will sanitize the environment before and after and during are being paid. Amen. Are you following? The footballers on the pitch sweating are being paid. You are there cheering on and shouting and clapping. And that is all you are left with. Except you place the bet. Are you following? Are we following this morning? What I'm asking you to do is that don't be a spectator. But I trust that none of us has been a spectator this morning because I saw all of us pray. Amen. Even though I'm speaking like this, I, I, I know. I, got, I, I saw some of us, most of us at least, praying. Amen. Amen. So, that means there is something for you here this morning. So, open your heart as a participator. You know, when you're a participator, your eyes are wide open, not to, not to, are wide open, not to miss anything. Amen. A player, even though he's not with the ball, is active. He's, he's active. He's, he, he's, he, he stays quickened so that he's, got, he's ready to receive the ball at any time. Am I correct? Oh. Ah. Now look at this. Christianity is called, let me show you something. Rightly, correctly and divinely called the great profession. Now I want to ask you a question. You have been here seven days. What are you going to do with all that you have heard? We started with rulers of darkness, which was actually rulers of light. And we dealt with understanding the kingdom of darkness and understanding how to deal with it. Then we, we now began to understand our identity, our place, and what authority we have to deal with darkness. And why darkness must answer to us. Why darkness and its rulers are subject to us. We began to understand that, right? Then we move from that to the mystery of eternal life. Am I missing anything? Mystery of eternal life. Then to dwelling in God. Then to the realms of the Elohim yesterday. Now all these things that we have received. What are we going to do with them? What are you going to do with them? And that's what I'm about to show you just quickly. What you are going to do with them is that you are going to profess them for the rest of your life. You are going to be speaking them. Even when you hear a message that is contrary to what you have heard, you will refuse to believe it. Hallelujah. You know, after what you have received for these seven days, you now go somewhere, somebody now preaches another thing, contrary to what you have heard. And you now believe it. That would be foolishness. That was what Paul said to the Galatians. Galatians 3 verse 1. All foolish Galatians who have bewitched you. And I ask you to read from Amplified, right? 
then I'm fine now, now helps us to understand the word foolishness. Say, oh foolish, I mean silly, stupid, senseless, on thinking, on reasoning. Galatians, who has bewitched you? That you should not be what obey the truth there is what is what be, obey there is what believe. Who has bewitched you that you should not believe the truth? Before whom was Christ evidently set forth? So what we have done for the past seven days is to set forth Christ before you with evidence from scriptures. Are we following now? So one man of God comes, right? Or maybe you listen to him on social media or whatever. And he comes, like, you know, because, they, because, because of status in society. Are you following? Can I ask you a question? Do you know that Jesus did not have a high status among the rabbis of that generation? He was respected. He was famous, but he was not loved. I hope you get what I'm saying now. He was famous, but he wasn't popular. That was why, you know, there was a time he preached something, right? Jesus preached. And after he preached, about 5,000, more than 5,000 people stopped following him, remaining only 12. Do you remember? He preached. After he preached, then they stopped following him. They said, This preaching is too hard, it's too difficult. And this, this preaching, these are the things that we are teaching. They turn and they say, well, we can't follow you, we can't. Then he turned to the disciples and said, won't you also follow them? He said, to, then they said, to whom shall we go? Only you have the word of eternal life. Are we following? So, Paul now said, if we, or an angel, come to preach to you otherwise from what we have taught, if we come to preach to you another gospel, he said, let us, he said, when you look at us, see us as people who are cursed. That's Paul talking on. Are you following? Paul said, if we come to preach to you another gospel than this gospel that is already preached to you, he said, let us, even, he said, even if we or an angel of, an angel of God comes to you to preach another gospel, he said, let that angel be cursed. Hallelujah. Then he went ahead to say that, whoever troubles you to try to remove you from this is we are planted, you say, let God trouble them. Are you following? So somebody comes to tell you that you have not received eternal life. Then you remember that we said Christ was evidently set forth before you. We showed you this all through the pages of the Bible. Amen. Scriptures teaching scriptures by the Holy Ghost. So you are sure now that you have eternal life. But don't just keep it in your heart. You've got to profess it. Start speaking it. I have eternal life. And I told you that what would be the result of this? Why should you profess it? Why was Christianity called the great profession? That means if you saw a Christian, if you, if you were close to a Christian, you will know he's a Christian because of what is coming out of his mouth. You will have things like, I'm a child of God. I'm born again. I have eternal life. I cannot be sick. Because eternal life is at work in me. I know who I am. Did you see how Paul spoke before that Roman, that Roman captain, Silo, the captain of the ship? He said, the angel of the Lord. Who is the Lord? Jesus Christ. Because when Jesus was exorated, the angel addressed him as what? Lord. Paul declared, and my Lord said to this, my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make all your enemies your footstool. So who is the Lord? Jesus. Now Paul declared, he said, the angel of the Lord. Whose I am and whom I serve. That's not the way a normal person talks. The angel of the Lord, who I, who, whose I am and whom I serve, appeared to me yesterday and told me that there will be no loss of life. You know, before you can guarantee that there will be no loss of life, preservation for you know, you know, you know how many people contain a ship carries? Oh. Anywhere from 1,000 to 2,000 to 3,000 to 5,000. Paul said, not a single life will be lost. Preservation. But he had to put this down and declare, the angel of Jesus Christ, whose I am and who I serve, appeared to me yesterday and said, Paul, don't be afraid. Not a single... 
No, properties will be lost because of disobedience. He said, but not a single life will be lost. Are you following what I'm saying now? You know, before they, thank God, Spirit, before they sailed on that, in that direction, Paul told them not to sail in that direction. Paul told them. But the captain was relying on, you know, he's a captain, he's a sea captain. So he had better knowledge of sea, of the sea. I've been sailing for, for years. You know how old I am? I've been sailing. I'm a captain. You know what it means to be a captain of a ship now? Then you are, are you even a captain? You're a tent maker. You're trying to tell me about the sea. He said, no, don't sail. Let's sail like this. Then the storm arose and there was the threat of life and property. But they lost, you know, they lost all their properties. But Paul could appear and declare. Paul could appear and declare. The angel of the Lord, whose I am. Imagine an accident is about to happen. And you can boldly say to everybody, why what is shouting? You can you can you can boldly everybody calm down. The angel of the Lord is here. The angel of Jesus Christ, whose I am, and whom I serve. Everybody, there's no need to fret. The car, might, the car might be destroyed, but no life here will be lost. Now, do you, do you remember that no life was lost? But you no, know, Satan, Satan wanted to, the sea monster that wanted to kill people that was hungry for blood. When he saw that it was on the account of Paul that everybody was saved, now came for Paul. You don't follow. You know, the people of that, of that island, they recognize that they, that particular suffering, if it bites you, no, no, no cure, no remedy. And I also told us that I, I reckon that Satan did not want Paul to get to Rome for that assignment. Amen. Hey. When you become like this, the men, the preservation of, of the preservation of men and their protection and their prosperity can be assured because of you on your account. This is what every single Christian stated here is supposed to become. This is what we are supposed to be. This is our destiny. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's called the great profession. Let me, let me show one, one or two verses more and then we go on and we prophesy. Now, first Timothy 6, verse 12. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Not, not lay hold. Right? It means hold tight. Don't let it go. Don't let go of this issue of eternal life that we taught you. Are you following? Don't let it go. Don't let anybody wrestle it out of your hand. Don't let anybody convince you otherwise. Even if an angel should appear to you in a dream, curse the angel. Let the angel become cursed to you. Paul said, lay hold. Hold tight onto it. Don't let anybody through doctrine of some kind of teaching wrestle this thing out of your hand. Amen. Are we following? Don't let anybody wrestle this thing out of your hand. You know right? When you receive the word like this, Satan will not... You know, you think when you receive the word like Satan should not come. That's when Satan comes to. That parable of Jesus, the parable of the sower. He said, then come it Satan, the wicked one, because the only reason why Satan is coming to attack you after the seven days, you know, Satan doesn't attack a weak man, a weak man is already a pre. Do you attack an animal that is already in your cage that your trap has already caught? Do you see hunters going to the bush to hunt for chickens? <laughs> you go to hunt for wild animals. Those ones, they are strength, they are, they are strong. And when you are going, you fortify yourself, you prepare. Am I correct? Amen. John said, I write to you young men. I have written to you young men. Because you are strong. And the world abides in you. And you have overcome the wicked one. So what I'm saying to you is not to scare you. It's to, it's to let you know what you have become by virtue of the word of God. So Satan is going to come after these seven days. 
I shouldn't be saying this, right? I'm already prophesying. But you see, we know. You know, you know just the way Satan understands some people. It's the same way we understand it. Paul said that we don't have your ignorance. Amen. So somebody can step out of these seven days of light and then now look at it, there's a little difficulty. Then that Satan has come. And when Satan, Satan comes and you know what he's coming for? It's not you that is scared about. No, Satan doesn't care about. It's the word of God. It's the word of God is coming for. Is what that word that you have received that, you, that you're not holding on to. That is what is coming to challenge. The authority of the word. He wants to shift you from that rock to a sand. I got what I'm saying now. He wants to get you to he will attack your hand so that you can open up so that you can, you can let go of the word in your hand. Amen. Say I have eternal life. You declare it. Somebody says, hey, eternal life. You say, I have it. So if you have it, then why are you? Then why is your body this hot? Why are you feeling feverish? You say, I, 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 I can't have fever. Oh, you know, remember we dealt with the New Testament kind of faith. There is the Old Testament kind of faith, and there is the New Testament kind of faith. I can't, I can't, I can't have fever. I can't, I can't. Let everybody around you. What is it? But it was mosquitoes bite you now. Yes, if mosquitoes beat Jesus, would he have would he have a would he have a type of fever? I can't. Why? Is it because by his stripes I am healed? By his stripes I am healed. Say that with me. By his stripes I am healed. So all these things they are not for they are, they are for your meditation. You think them, you speak them. You think them, you speak them. You think them, you speak them. This is what you are you'll be doing. He said this he said this book of the law. Now, do you think if Joshua were in our generation and Joshua has this kind of thing, you think Joshua, Joshua would not have become a mad person? Because all they had, all he had was the law, right? But most of them, that, that law was their life. So, God now told Joshua, this book of the law must not leave your mouth. You must not stop speaking it day and night. Day and night. In the morning, you are speaking it. In the night, you are speaking it. You are going on the road. You are speaking it. Let an ordinary man see you and think you have run mad. You have lost your senses. You have lost your mind. You know what I told you, right? Mm, I don't know if you remember. I said, we spent time in church that we not spend time in shrine. Somebody said, Ibu spent too much time. We spent time in church that we not spend time in Babylon Wo's house. We spent time in church that we not spend time in hospital. Are you going to say now? Because, oh, either you spend time here or you spend time somewhere else. Am I not already prophesying? I, because he said, let the word of God dwell in you richly. And I need time. I need time for the word of God to dwell in me richly. Are you following? I need time to cram myself, to cram my soul up, to fill my soul up with the word. You know, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, right? So if, you're, if, you, if you're not filled with the word, what would your mouth be saying? What would your mouth be saying? You know, if you... I, I, I realized, after some time, from my own personal experience, you know, all those comedy videos, as good as comedy is, right? If it is used according to the proportion that it's used, supposed to be used, right? If you spend most of your time watching comedy videos, you will after some time, that's, you, your words will become your confession. Am I correct? And that's, that's what you'll be saying. Even though in your spirit you know that this is not correct. But because that was what you gave time to. Then that's what your mouth, then you, even your heart will be thinking it. Your mouth will be speaking it. Oh, there was there was this movie. I let me tell you. Till today, I've never seen it before. I, I, I mean, till today, I've not seen it. I've not seen it, and I will never see it till I leave this world. But I know, but I know about the movie. But I can tell you about the movie because I hear people talking about it almost always. Is this uh, Nigerian movie called Selena Tested? You saw how children, all the children, and I were talking about it. They were using the language. They were speaking it right. It is the abundance. They out of the abundance of their heart. So they've they've seen that thing too much. They fall in love with all, with it. I mean, they are always waiting for the next episode. Because it appears to the nature of the rebel in them. The nature of the higher killer, the thief, the destroyer in them. So, because they gave time to something. Now, every time they open their mouth, your face shows, your shoes shine. I go do this, I go... You know, you know the language, right? Even so, I ought to cram myself. First, let the word of God dwell you richly. So that when any situation comes, right? What comes out of your mouth is the word. Somebody say, Ah, Mono Congo die you. I know if he die you. 
That's not what is in you. No. Christianity is called. See, do you know it was people, it was unbelievers that, that gave us that gave that called us Christians. I hope you don't, you, don't, you don't know. It was unbelievers that called you Christians. It was not God that gave you that gave that gave you Christian. I would have loved them for that we drive we drive the word Christianity like Christ. But actually, what the Bible calls you is he that believe it. Which in the original translation is you are called the believing one. And Paul said, we believe and so we speak. So if you are the believing one, you must be the speaking one. So the believing one is the speaking one. But what are you speaking? You are speaking your realities as ordained in Christ. Are you following? Somebody takes a gun and aims it at you and says, I will shoot you. You know, if you are not full, have you ever seen a very hungry man throwing up? What will he throw up? Is it this time? What will he vomit? What will he throw up? Is it this time? His liver or his kidney? There is nothing there to throw up. If it was water, he has been drinking. If he throws up, that's why you will see water. Shout out God of the house. Rabinan Candele Bregede is Canando Bigadas. So, all these things I have received, they are not for keeping quiet. You keep quiet, you lose them. You keep quiet, you lose them. You must be talking it. I have come. I have come. I am a partaker of the divine nature. And when you are doing it, you know what happens to you? You are building strength into your life, you are bu- building ability, you are building power. Others will find even your even your natural body, your physical body, your mortal coil, will begin to respond to this word. How do I know? He said, if the same spirit that raised if the spirit that raised you up from the dead dwells in you, that same spirit will quicken your mortal body. Then he said, Be not filled with wine, be not drunk with wine, wearing in excess, but be filled. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Speaking to yourself in what? In Psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Are you not now? So speaking. Speaking to yourself. It is, it's not speaking to one another. Speaking to yourself. Speaking to yourself. In Psalms. What is the Psalms? He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will see of the Lord is my shield and my buckler. My Lord, my God, in him will I trust. He has covered me with his feathers. Under his wings shall I trust. Are you getting what I'm saying now? I cannot be terrorized. I cannot be afflicted. Based on this, based on what I just confessed, I can't be terrorized. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, that's what is written. I will fear no evil because the Lord is with me. Is your confession. So they are not written to just read it and believe your heart and keep words. No. Are, but if you don't, if you cannot speak it, it is so the, let me show you something, right? It is the extent to the extent that you speak that you believe. Your your believing doesn't exceed your speaking. Hallelujah. Let me show you something. Now, by your words, you are also purified. By your words, you are defiled. Your words, I mean, your profession of faith has the power to defile you. I mean, ordinary profession that, that, that is weak. Your profession can, weak, can, can weaken you. Are you following? Your profession can weaken you. Can weaken your immune system. Make your body susceptible to sickness and disease. So that if, if sickness comes, it becomes very difficult for sickness to live. You know how we say, as it take on, as it go, take go. I've been saying that for such a, for such a long time, like that's become reality. I've been saying that for such a long time that it has become my reality. I have come to a point that, see, I, my belief is so strong that I believe that if you take a knife to attack me, now let me show you something. Now if, if you have a familiar spirit and there's a, a person is possessed of a demon or on strong, under strong demonic influence, right? And I begin to pray in the Holy Ghost, what will happen? The person will fall. Amen. There will be a reaction, right? Person will fall. And I begin to pray. Now let me show you something. Why you pray in tongues and somebody can be possessed? Somebody can be possessed and there's no reaction. It is because you have not been praying in tongues for long. 
you have not built you know he said and you beloved building up yourself so many Christians don't know that there's, there's, there's a ministry of building up yourself are you getting what I'm saying now so, if, so when I built myself up to a strong and, and what there is okodo imyo it means to build a strong tower I mean you build yourself into an edifice spiritually are you getting what I'm saying now now, when you, when you have that kind of culture and you enter into a place and you find out that they want to disfavor you and you, dis, you decide that it's, it's, this is not God, this is an arrangement from hell then you switch. Because obviously there's a spirit. You know what I'm saying? Nobody can... Dis, see, if God has, if God has placed it for your point in your life, nobody can favor you without a principality, without a spirit sponsoring him. You know what I'm saying? Men rise in this world by the help of a prince, a spirit prince. Are you following Men rise. That's why Jesus is called the Prince of the Kings of the Earth. So if I step, if you can you, imagine that you, you something is supposed to, a good thing is supposed to happen, and all of a sudden there's a deny, there's a, there's a suspension, there's there's a denier. The Lord, the Lord has said, okay, it's time to, for you to travel out. You can travel out now. Yes, a prince wants to deny you visa. The person there is a human being that is sitting there, right? Are you following? But the human being doesn't know why he wants to. He wants. He takes. He takes a, a that thing and wants to stamp this disapproved, rejected. So you switch in the Holy Ghost. You begin to confess, "I am the seed of the blessed one. I am too blessed to be cursed. Too blessed." I don't remember. I said I went somewhere, right? Okay, I was I went, when I went to. And get something from the market. Last, that was I think last week. Amen. And the bike I was to take, I, I, I wanted to take this bike. I got, was a very young guy. So all of a sudden, your your disciple must be alive. Amen. I just looked at the guy. I looked at his legs and I said, mm, "Go." And the guy went further and packed and refused to go. He said, "Come on, guys. I'm not going. Just be going." So I caught another bike and climbed. It was funny, but I knew it was a serious thing in the spirit. So I saw the other back and I climbed. The guy began to talk. And I could decide that it was, it was, not, com- it was not complaining. No, you know there's complaining like, hey, why did you stop me? And that was not what he was saying. This guy was cursing me. And, no, no, it was not cursing. It was attempting to curse me. I get what I'm saying now. Uh, you have been here for some time. You know I showed you something from the Bible, right? Why do the wicked imagine vain things? Someone just imagine that just imagine that he had an accident and he dies. Or he's in the hospital for one year. As I pray, every imagination of the wicked against you comes to nothing. It backfires. You know something? This, David prayed a prayer. Oh Lord, do not answer the prayers of my enemies when they pray. Pray that prayer in just a minute. Let the prayer of my enemies become an abomination. Let the prayer of my enemies become an abomination to you. Let it become an abomination. Let the prayers of those who hate my soul or sworn enemies, those who have given themselves in hatred, let it become an abomination. Let their cry for help not be heard until they repent. Until they totally repent and change. Let their prayer, their cry for help become abomination. Let their voice be mournful. Let no one hear them when they cry. Until they repent. Until they change. In Jesus' name. Amen. So what did I do when, the guy began, when I saw the guy like that? So me too, I began to talk back. I didn't say he's a small boy. <laughs> and You know, it is, let me show you something. And as you talk this, as you speak these things, and as you have time to pray in the Holy Ghost, to pray in the Spirit. What will happen is that when situations arise, it is the Spirit that will decide your, your response. It is the Holy Ghost that sp- quickening your, sp- your spirit, quickening your mortal body that will decide how you respond. So now you just find out that instead of talking, you just laugh. <laughs> you, just laugh you just laugh and walk away. Now that laughter is not natural. It's not, a, it's not that of when you hear a joke and you're amused, or you're amused, you're amused. No. It is it is provoked by the Spirit. But that day, that particular day, the response was, I spoke back. And what did I say? 
no weapon fashioned against me. No men of the men of the you know, it's right to say an Okadama that is ordinary. Men of the have things they tie to themselves. So now you see driving recklessly, they have things they, they used to ensure their own life. They don't care about you behind. Are you following? So I began to talk about no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. With long life it satisfies me and shows me salvation. This thing is accident free. I arrived at my death. So I just said that. So I, and I was saying it. And I began to look at him. Eyeball to eyeball. I wanted him to know. I know what you are saying. I know what you are doing. So this is me responding to you. There was no fear. You know, if you were you now, you might not. You might not. You might not, you might not to climb a ladder again. So let me check his mom before. Ah, yeah. The word you have come to. So it becomes your profession. Your confession of faith. Everything you are saying. See, you know there are sometimes when you are praying, you, you want to say, God, what do you say? Oh, God, what, 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 what is your mind? You know, the, when you begin to, when you, when you make a light of speech, you will always know the mind of God concerning every situation. It is called your great profession. Hallelujah. Now let me take one more verse and then we, we switch. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Are you learning anything this morning already? Thank you, Holy Ghost. Revedes kerian de digisitirat. Revedina kaskaliam rege de venas. Turian de legadas. You will no longer be stranded anymore. In fact, the last time you were stranded is the last time you were stranded. Amen. You become a, a spiritual mafia. You become a troubler where you were troubled. A terror where you were terrorized. I can't remember the last time I was afraid of someone. Not because of age. But because of the word and the spirit in me. Because I have given myself over to the word. What did God give to Moses? The word. All the, Jesus said that everything that the Father has given him was wrapped up, encapsulated in the word. Everything that the Father, Jesus said, the Father, he said, oh, he said the word. Jesus said the word. Jesus in John chapter seventeen said, the word that you gave me, I have given them. So what did God give Jesus? Oh, what did God give Jesus? The word. What did Jesus give you? The word. And the word is more than enough. Amen. That's why I like that song so much. Amen. The word, the word, the word, the word, the word. So you are going on the road, you put in your, you plug in your earpiece, you are listening to a message or a song that is rich in the word. Notice there are some Christians that are not rich in the word. In fact, there's a difference between Christian song and gospel songs. A gospel song is a song that is, for example, He said it's finished, I know. My story is written, I know. I overcame. Now, that's a gospel song. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Because it is about what he did. What is written. He said, all the promises of God in him are yea. And in him are amen. So, all the promises. Everything that, let me show you something. Everything that God promised in the Old Testament is yes now. It is yes in Christ. Everything that God promised in the Old Testament is Amen in Christ. Can I ask a question? What is the mind of God concerning sickness? Concerning healing? You know His mind. You know that there's never a time that you are sick that His will is no. His will is always yes. That man said, If you will, I'll be made whole. I'll be healed. Jesus said, I will. I will. He said, if you will, I'll be clean. He said, Jesus said to him, be, I will, I will. I want you to be clean. Jesus said, I want you to be clean. I mean, Jesus said, I want you to be whole. I want you healed. I don't want you sick. He doesn't glorify him. He doesn't please him when you are sick. Can I ask you a question? When you are sick, who is glorified in that? Who is honored in that? It's not God. It's the devil. 
Oh, but what is the will of the Father? He was bruised for your iniquities, wounded for your transgressions. The chastisement of your peace was upon him. By his stripes, you are healed. That's his will. Anytime, anywhere, irrespective of what you have, what you might have done or not done. Are you following what I'm saying now? Irrespective of what you have done or not done, what the Father wants for you is healing and sound health. What He has provided for you in Christ is healing and sound health. Full stop. No more, no less. How about prosperity? You know, to realize that God is, He calls Himself a jealous God. That one of the name of God in, 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 that we have come to understand is Jehovah El Kana. Or El Kana. The God whose name is Jealous is a jealous God. You know, he's so jealous that He's the one that, he can, out of jealousy, cause that a man be sacked. Because He's jealous. God, are you getting what I'm saying now? He said, over t- time and again, you provoke my jealousy. Because you be, that job now, you're not placed the job above him. He's the one that out of jealousy now he can. Oh. And out of jealousy, because of jealousy, he can overwhelm you with prosperity. He can bless you so much, so much, so much, so much to the point that it now causes your enemy to envy you. Do you follow this morning? Say, I want men to I want men, I want men to see you and be jealous about you. I want to provoke envy. I want to I want to provoke men to end to the to the I want them to envy you. So if we if we now bring you to the place where he now begins to bless you, overwhelm you materially, financially, he it becomes the way he protests you. The way he colors your life to provoke jealousy. Do you follow this morning to provoke jealousy? Say this with me, God is jealous over my life. Oh, God is jealous over my life. Have you seen a way a woman is jealous? Have you seen a way a man is jealous? God is much more jealous than that. Do you follow? God is much, much, much more jealous than that. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's called the great, the great, the great, the great profession. Every Christian is supposed to be a speaker. That means your mouth never ceases from speaking. You are always speaking. You say, why is he always talking? Why is, your, why is his mouth always moving? They can't understand. They can't understand. Is he alright? More than alright. If you saw Joshua, you would, you would have said the same about him. Because God told him, this book of the law must not depart. Must, what depart? That means it must not leave your mouth. You, they, they, when you are sleeping, be speaking it. Have dreams where you are speaking the word. Have dreams where you are the word speaking the word. You wake up. You know when you begin like let me show you something. Let, 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 I, I told you, yeah, this way I just open. Immediately I, I open my, my eyes. What comes out of my mouth? It, was, it scares me. It is the perfect mind of God. They go to sleep and they wake up shouting, help, help, help. Dreams of being terrorized, dreams of being afflicted, of being chased up and down. Have a dream that a chicken is chasing you. Fill yourself up with the word, and then you will. The reality changes. It changes. Amen. How you know that what I am saying are not stories? A problem that we have shown us over and over and over again all through these seven days is that I am a, I am a physical testimony that these things are real. That these things are true. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. I want to read the first verse, right? Thank you, Jesus. Profession. Saridi kiribaran de griyasi daratonas to he said, if they had opened their mouth, then I would have filled it up. And you know, this word profession only appears in the New Testament. So it is your heritage. There's a way you ought to talk. It's called the language of faith. The language of the believing ones. There's the way they talk. If you have inferiority complex and you're around me, you'll be, you'll be terrorized. 
Your inferiority will come to prove. I mean, your feeling of inferiority will just. I mean, will just be, you become very conscious of it if you are not careful. God of the way I talk. Now that's not, that's why some people say he has. He, he feels like he's superior to others. He feels like I don't feel like. I'm just declaring what the world says about me. And what the world says, if you are born again, that's, same, that's the same thing he says about you. So when I say I cannot be sick, I am too great to. I am too. I am, I am too. I am too great to settle for less. I am. I am said to the nations of the earth. It's what he said to me. So I'm only homologia. I'm speaking in consonant, in agreement with what he said. You know what sin is? You know what defilement is? To say something that is contrary to what he said. You are defiling yourself. Jesus said they came to Jericho and they said, "Your disciples they eat with unwashed hands." Jesus said. Nothing that goes into a man defiles the man. It is what comes out of the man that defiles him. The word defile there means to contaminate, to corrupt, to stain. I refuse to defile myself with my own tongue. So your body is feeling feverish. Then you open your mouth to say, I have fever. You have defiled yourself. You have corrupted yourself. Now, if you are going to be purified, how will you be purified? How will you be purified by the word? Because if my mouth can defile me, if the word that comes out of my mouth can defile me, then the word that comes out of my mouth, the word of God out of my mouth can purify me. So when I declare, He has made him to be seen. Who knew no sin? That I might be made the righteousness of God in him. I am the righteousness of God. I am created in righteousness. I am his righteousness. Not only did he declare me righteous, I am made righteous. Even right now, as he's righteous in heaven, so I'm righteous on earth. When you do that, what you're doing is that, Jesus said in Joseph chapter 17, verse 3, Ye are cleansed through my word, which I have spoken unto you. The word word there is actually teachings. Teachings. Through the teachings, through my doctrines, you are cleansed. So, imagine that these seven days, what, what has been happening to you? The reality is that you have, been, you, have, you have been undergoing cleansing, 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 cleansing. Some of you, your mindset has changed. And because your mindset has changed, your faith has, been, your faith has changed. Your faith has changed levels. Things you could not look in the eye and dress before, now you will dare them. Even if they don't come, you will go and dare them. You will not see sickness and, 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 do, and you will not see a sick person and pretend like you do not see the sick person. You will not see the devil coming and run away. You know, I told you, right? Our, our goal is to produce in you, via the word of God and by the Spirit, the highest kind of faith. The God kind of faith. The faith that overcomes the world in Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now, see, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 14. Seeing then. That we, have, that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens. Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our, our profession. Are you seeing that now? Let us hold fast. Hold fast. That means don't let it go. Hold on to it. Cling on to it. Be, hold on to it like it is your life. You know, men, men profess their confession. Men, men confess what they profess what they believe in their hearts. Amen. Faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of the Lord. So this is my confession. This is my confession. I can't be sick. This is my confession. I can't fail. Remember, uh, one time in school, while he was writing his exam, he fainted. And they had to rush him to the school clinic or hospital, whatever. And when he woke up, he was he felt insulted. He felt he, he, he felt on the, so he, he said. Satan, I will show you how somebody passes an exam without writing. I will show you how somebody passes an exam without what? Writing. And by whatever miracle, his result came out and he passed. He even passed more than the people who, who, who have been studying online all day long. Are you following? It is the profession of our faith. Before he got married, he had been declaring uh, uh, each, free, uh, if, each free marriage. No quarrel, no nothing. Heaven on earth, man. He has been declaring it. 
Even when the counselor, marriage counselor tried to tell him otherwise. You know, marriage is a bed of thorns. Before you can see the roses, you must, you must took you. All those nonsense things that are not biblical. In the beginning, it was not so. Did you read anywhere that Abraham and Isaac quoted? I mean, Abraham and Sarah quoted. How about Isaac and Rebecca? How about Adam and Eve? Even when Eve fell, even when Eve misbehaved, right? And God of you, they fell. Did you see, when they, when they walked out of the garden, they were hand in hand. They saw the fig leaves together to cover their shame. <laughs> they went and hid themselves from God together. Did you? The only time when we saw Adam blaming her was, now you, <laughs> so when God now showed up. <laughs> because that's what sin does. Sin consciousness, that's what he does. When a man is conscious, is, is, is living in his consciousness, he will always be shifting blame. Looking for someone to blame, to point, to accuse. Sin consciousness, it, 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 it flourishes in accusation. But apart from that, did you see? Hey, I'm not saying. Before you come, only me I did for this guy did a flex. I was walking on water. Now, I think. And every time that Adam has to carry his hoes, his farming equipment to go to go till the soil, he will look at the woman. Did you ever hear that? Heaven on its marriage. Never hit his wife one day. Never insulted her. Are you following? Because they did not fall until yet. You know, Paul said that it was not Adam that was deceived. It was the woman. The man was not deceived. It was the woman. So women are more prone to deception than men. Amen. Women are more prone to deception than men. So you begin to confess. I have a heaven on earth marriage. I have a marriage that does not fail. I have a glorious marriage. I have a marriage flowing with milk and honey. And you know what? I told you, like, your confession must be rooted on revelation knowledge. Revelational truth. If not, you'll be confessing to, you'll be confessing standing on sand. You confess it, you confess it. And it is coming from an understanding of that is rooted in the revelational word of God. And marriage cannot fail. It cannot fail. I cannot marry the wrong person. It's not possible. It's not. It's not possible. I cannot fall victim of a wrong relationship. It's not possible. And say, ah, you know this life. Somebody said, some of my friends, those days, they said, eh, say, this one, now that you have refused to date anybody, how will you not do in marriage? How many people did Adam, Abraham, Isaac date? Did you hear that Isaac dated people, different girls, before he married Rebecca? Did you hear that? So, you will have an enviable marriage. Oh, you will have an enviable home. People will think about your marriage, they will use a point of contact. They will look at your husband, your wife, your spouse, your children, and they will use them as a point of contact of how Lord, this is what I exactly what I want. A spouse that is burning for God, full of the world. Walking in excellence, in insight, understanding, knowledge. Children that are, that are on fire for Jesus. But as you receive this revelation, you begin to confess them. Every day of your life, you confess them. I am dealing from wrong relationships. I can't fall into it. You are doing this, that, in that. So you, are, you know there are different areas of your life. So you are building strength. Building grace. Building grace into all those areas of your life. So when it's time to settle down, you will naturally walk into the relationship. The right one. You will not be doing tinko, 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 all those nonsense that people do. All those carry to name, give somebody, let me check, which one is it? You won't follow them to do all those nonsense. You won't even need to fast to know who, who, who is who. You won't need to fast. You won't fast. Because, do you know this is why you've been confessing these things? For a long time. A very, very long time. 
and you have you, you have adequate knowledge in that regard. And knowledge is not just taught somewhere you, in your heart. You've been confessing it. That, that was me. Uh, this book of Lord shall not depart of your mouth. You shall meditate daring. daring. And you know I told you that like, Christian meditation is not see, it's not con- it's not conclusive until you have opened your mouth. We, we are not Buddhist. We are not con- we are not Confucians. Why not even Muslims? You know they know. No, we are not the, we are not that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Our meditation, you know what your meditation is? Let me show you how to meditate. Maybe you might just take the word and be thinking. You might, you might just take this this, this, this particular line. Uh, somebody give me a verse from, from the Bible. Huh? Okay. He that dwells in the scriptures of the most high. So you start to think upon it. But then you open your mouth. He that dwells. You know, I was speaking. He that dwells. No, 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 no. You are not. It's not a memory verse you are reciting. It's not Dreos word. You have to read it so fast. So as to win, you have to win one bottle of coke or something. It is. It, it is. Let me show you something, right? In the meditation and the speaking of the word, that's where your power is, as a Christian. That's where your power is. You want to walk in power. You want to. You want to always. That when you speak, your word has effect. Has an effect. It, the desired effect. This is how to do it. It is the secret is in meditation and now in that moment that you are speaking the word, you know what you are doing? You are also praying. What are you praying? You are praying the will of the Father. So I'm showing you how to pray, how to pray twenty four hours. Some days back, I was like, ah, Lord, ah, I'm, praying 20, I'm praying 12 hours now. Better, thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm talking about stretch. Then, you know, it reminded me of something some years back. He said, You've been praying 24 hours. So, are you demoting yourself? Because, have you ever seen me on the road and my mouth is not moving? I'm like a lunatic. My mouth is always moving. Remember, somebody said they should come and ask, said they said they should come and ask me if I'm okay. Because they always see me talking on the road. If they ask you, tell them, say, that is the reason why he has never been to hospital for the past 20 years of his life. The past 20 years. I don't, I don't, I know hospitals, I know some hospitals. Because I've gone to visit people there. I don't have any hospital card anywhere. Just as no police station has my record. I don't think any police station has my name. I've never gone to police station to sign for somebody. They've never arrested me before in my life. <laughs> No police record. So the only hospital record was the one I had when I was when I did not even know who Jesus was. In my GSS days. And I finished secondary school around 2008. So you know that, that was really a long time. That was really a long time. One time somebody convinced me to you know to, 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 to take to receive a treatment and all that. That was I think last year or last two years, right? And after Ten years, this thing. So, when the when the nurse came around to the house, <laughs> I opened the door. We were just thing. When I, I was not laughing, so the because they came, to, they came. I mean, the woman had, uh, so the nurse now said, "Who are we treating?" I said, "It's me." The, the nurse now said, "You knew that she was confused. Come on, when you come to treat somebody, they are lying down. They are." Are you following? I think I'm I was just sitting with her. And I, I was even I said, please, I said, this thing, this thing you want to give me. I said, how long will it last? Because I have this to go and do. This to go and do. How, how long? So, <laughs> you know, she has never met a man like that before. Normally, when you call people to your house to come and. <laughs> He's telling you, Pele, sorry. I was on my feet. I was laughing. We're just I was even telling them, I have this to go and do. I hope this will not take time. And that's the last one forever. Because there was no need for it. Maybe I just did it to show them I'm human too.
And she was pressuring me, and I felt, okay, she was pressuring me because of love. You know, because of love. Sir, please. Sir. Now, you want to mentor me carnally. I will allow you to mentor me again. That's the end of that mentorship program. You want to mentor me, carry me to chicken and side. Carry me to, where again? Lace restaurant. Carry me to, carry me to a massage parlor. Carry me to Sharatin Hotel and Tours. Take me up to Dubai. That is, if you want to be my canal mentor, I will agree. Be my canal mentor in that guy. Not hospital. God forbid. Not injection. Somebody is here. Now I told you, right, the time will become right. That will, will, will be doing festival of lights. And people will be, there, um, there, there will be people here right now. Who will testify that 30 years now, 20 years now, I have not taken a single tablet. I told you one time, one, one time like that, I, I, one time like that, about seven, eight years ago, I went to, I went to a, a chemist to buy tablets. And the, and the woman said, how much, was the, I think 150 or 180 or almost close to 2000. And I said, just give me one single dosage. I was I, I, I had an, a program I was going for, so I felt like I don't want this body to get in the way of this assignment. No, he said, no, he said, you know, yeah. I said, is your body? Give me. <laughs> Amen. Remember, my cousin was here, and we, we grew up together. And I asked him before, and, and, and I reminded him. He has never there, there has never been a time where he heard that Bank Ole is sick. Let's go and visit him. Let's buy him Mika and Milo. Ooh. Now, I, no, I said there's a way I talk, right? You will start feeling like he's proud. He's egocentric. But what I'm declaring is, I, oh, book of Hebrews chapter 11, we said, they were weak, they became strong. How? By faith. They worked valiant by faith. They were timid, but they became bold by faith. They put the armies of aliens to flight by faith. And what was their faith? What they said out of their mouth. Did you see how, you know, if you read the book of First Samuel chapter 17, there about, or 17 years, you will see David as he talk at him. Like a loquacious. Because that was how everybody saw him in his time. All his, all his brothers, they saw him as a talkative. ITK, I too know, Ajayi, no payment. That was how they saw him. And that, they said it. He just came. Come and deliver food to your brother. So he came and said, and said, he said, he said hey, what shall be done for the man? Who will reproduce the project for you? He said, he said, hey, they will give him land. He will marry the king's daughter. Hey, then he went and commanded it again. The guy was talking up and down, talking up and down. He said, I'm able to do it. And if you check that account, he was talking and talking and talking and talking. He won the battle first with wars before he ever won it with a sling. <laughs> I never tried to fight. Uh, when, when you were younger, <laughs> guys, you understand. I never tried to fight somebody, and the person had mouth. I said, "You go beat me, over, we go die here." <laughs> Listen, if I don't break your head, call me bastard. I, I, the way guy is talking, even though you are sure, you were sure you could beat him, all, but you not doubt will not begin to seep into your heart. You not begin to have everything. I go tell your shit. I'm all just. Even if you go beat me, I'm going to make sure I do you something. And the guy is talking, the guy is saying, you see, I swear, the guy is carrying some food in here. <laughs> I'm like, uh, wait to. <laughs> There's problem here. <laughs> the guy said, I can beat him, but he will break my head. And I don't, know, I don't want to go home with a broken head. Are you following? So, you have, even if it's under, it's under was, his power was 100%, you have, you have brought it down to 70 you are reducing his power with your words. And you know the way, the, way, the way the person is talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and talking. As he's talking, he's being energized. What he's saying is energizing him. What he's saying is energizing him. Even if he was a weak man, by the time the fire starts, he won't know when he will blow your eye. You don't get it because he has, he has said too much. <laughs> and you know if you have friends, right? When you start talking like that, all your friends will be saying, hey, hey, they will be gingery. Kill and, kill and go. Come on, blood. <laughs> now you have friends in high places. Because Paul said, seeing therefore that we are surrounded by so great, so great a cloud of witnesses. The Bible said, I did not all ministry spirits send forth, send to minister for them that shall be what? Heirs of salvation. So that means 
when you start talking like that, angels, are, angels begin to give you attention. You see, <laughs> because it is spirit versus spirit. You don't know. Spirit versus what? Spirit. Somebody takes a gun and points it at you. I will kill you. You know those funny movies, right? When they shoot the person, there's a or they she. Before you shoot them, they're ready to jari. It's not like they're just standing and you just shoot them. Before you shoot them, they have they have their chance all those things. You know, enter. Oh, there she, oh, there you say, wow, oh, there she. <laughs> By their words. You child of God. You carry a gun. You're not thinking you had a key enter, you know, enter. No, don't think. Talk. Don't think. Speak. No weapon. Fashion against me shall prosper. No gunshot. No bullet. You sure? No bullet. No bullet. <laughs> so that, you know, I never, you know, you know, Satan is a bastard. He doesn't have a father. He doesn't, he never had a father. Even when he had, even when God was, even when it was, he, he was, before he fell, he was, he, he rebelled. So he's a bastard. And you're right, the first time I, I wanted to lay my hand on somebody that was sick, the first time I, I witnessed a creative miracle in my life, I mean, the miracle of healing a dumb person. That was several years ago. It was an evangelist, and I said, What's wrong with that one? They said, he, He's sick. So I came, I didn't know it was a dumb person. If I, if I know that it's a problem of death, I would have said, Peace be with you. My, my faith never reached that level. I would have gone. But they said, <laughs> They said, Man is sick. So I came, I thought it was a headache or one of those internet family I would just pray with. We will not see whether it happen or not happen. I just say, believe for your family. I will just go. <laughs> you know that kind of thing. So I came. I prayed. He healed in Jesus' name. I said, do you believe you are healed? Man, like this. I said, why is he not talking? Somebody now shouted from, you know they talk, oh, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know he's d- dumb. Hey. Come on, I do go to one of us. So I wanted to lay hand for healing. All of a sudden, the darkness covered yet. <laughs> Those brought the light to so it was shining for darkness. <laughs> my eye, my eye was not I was not seeing mist, seeing cloud. <laughs> so I prayed. So now when I when, when that happened, I saw I, I saw the fear. I saw the cold hands of fear trying to grip my soul. But I decided to act despite that. To open my mouth. So I said, and I placed my hand on his head. I said, be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Tongue, be loosed in the name of Jesus Christ. I said, I said, have you been healed? Man said, I said, put your mouth and talk to me. Tongue, be loosed in Jesus' name. Man said, uh, 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 uh. I said, tongue, be loosed in Jesus' name. And the man started talking. That was the first time. That was the first time. So that was my first lesson. And as I turned to go, the Holy Ghost said, this is a shadow of what is to come. Are you following now? Now, I'm just showing you how to walk, how to, how to get people healed. You pray for the person. You, to you pray until you see the healing. Uh, let me say this again. Um, in, in, in one of his books, Fourth Dimension, uh, Pastor Paul Young Chubi, of Blessed Memory, he, he went to see somebody in the U.S. So there was this particular... Uh, the man was a, 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 a chancellor in a university. When he was a Christian, he had read the book of Pastor Paul Young Kichu. So now to Pastor Paul Young Kichu, that he has the gift of bringing, of, of healing people that de- did not have legs. Like if the person's leg was cut off, he could bring out the legs. Even Pastor Paul that wrote the book was skeptical of him. And said, even me, while I write the book, I never start to be seeing these things. Amen. So he said, so later they called him to an, into an office. They called him into an, into an office, the man's private office. So when they got into the office... There was a, a there was a man sitting on which chair that one one is one of one of his legs the the from here was gone. So <laughs> it was not one that wanted to happen. I said he wants to pray and bring out the legs. So the man said, "In Jesus' name, legs grow. Leg no grow. In Jesus' name, leg grow. Leg no grow." He said they've been there for that. He said they did this thing for almost 15 minutes. He said even him was sweating for the man. He said, but just notice that the man will just the man will pace and pace. The man will come back. Leg grow. Leg grow in the name of Jesus Christ. He called those things that be not as though they were. Leg grow. 
it's after 15 minutes. So not to be, it was not encouraging, man. So don't worry. You know, we grow in faith. <laughs> we grow in faith as the world is increasing in you. You know, this is in levels and all that. He was one who wrote the book. But he needed to learn a lesson. And that will shift him forever in ministry. So after 15 minutes. So you become encouraging. So everybody was in the ministry. We were trying to create a excuse for the man. Like, you know, sometimes it's not, sometimes maybe God wants to heal. Sometimes maybe the leg will go and grow at home. And you know all those things that we say, just help ourselves, just encourage ourselves in the faith. And, and, and it is true, right? At times we pray for somebody, you don't get healed on the spot. When they get home, right? But immediately we pray for them, they were healed, but they begin to recover. There are times like that. Amen. That's, that's why I pray for you. And I say, once I get the confirmation in my spirit, I say, you are healed, go. I get what I'm saying now. Now you might, oh, you might say, ah, I'm still feeling the pain, but you know that in the days to come, the pain will leave. Whether you use, now, whether you use tablet or not, if you use tablet, that's just your own unbelief working. I get what I'm saying now. In the days to come, the pain will go, because the healing was, the healing anointing was transferred, and I got the witness in my spirit that it was done. Are you following? But I don't know about faith now, confession. So after. They were watching the college man. No, I said, no, don't worry. The leg will grow. See, even he was still uncomfortable. He was feeling the story. Like this man, like he was feeling embarrassed, ashamed. Then the man came and said, and held the leg and said, leg, grow. And the leg began to grow. You know, just was only coming out. He said, he nearly fainted. You know that kind of, you're a dead. Like, it's not. <laughs> I mean, a whole leg. Leg came out, feet came out, finger, everything came out. That's why, I, you know, I told you right, that the healing anointing is here. And, I, and, I'm, and I've, been, I've been begging you. Because it's not to I beg now. Don't hesitate. If, if you see anybody, what, whatever kind of vanity, bring them to a church. You know, some of you, you are so organized, you are so civilized that what if you bring them to the church? They look away. Bring them. It is not your name and your glory that is at It is his name and his glory. It's not even your pastor's name. It is his name. Oh. He now went back to his to his own to his own nation. South Korea. And said, Lord, I repent of unbelief. Because many of you don't know that unbelief is sin. You cannot believe God for your healing, for your sound health, for a sinner. I'm not saying sinner by nature, but you are sinning. You are transgressing. You are going against what he, pro- what he died to give you. Are you following? Amen. The Lord has showed me, I've had a contact where the Lord come, where power was conferred on me to bring out limbs from people. One I saw, one revelation that the Lord showed me. The, the, I, I've never seen that kind of, I don't think I've ever seen that kind of deformity in my life before. The, 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 it was so crooked that the fingers, that the, the hand, the fingers entered. I mean, and so I, and I, and I saw myself praying, as I was praying in the Holy Ghost, I saw the thing, the, the thing began to unlock. It was also to say that even me, I, 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 woke up, I, I woke up with a feeling like this is not normal. And Lord said, we have brought you into the creative dimension. The dimension of create. Not there's a faith that creates. That is the highest kind of faith. Amen. See, anyone here can raise the dead. Anyone here that is born again, having the Holy Ghost in him, with this which we have taught you, you can raise the dead. You can heal the sick. In his name. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out devils. Oh. And you live here this morning with that, with that kind of consciousness. Are you following? Yeah, this morning with that kind of consciousness. Heal the dead, cleanse lepers, heal the sick, raise, raise the dead rather. And he said, freely you have received, freely give. Somebody is sick, he said, I want to give you healing. You know, do I used to pray for people? <laughs> I say, I have something, let me give you. I have used my faith for sound health and healing for more than 10 years. And it has worked for me. 
I have never had to, uh, to, I have never had to step my feet to a hospital. They have never had to carry me to an hospital, and it will never happen till I leave this world. Kevin okay, Copeland is always saying 120 is going. He said, when it goes 120, then this other man will come. He said, because he's 10 years older than the man. And the man is his partner in ministry. He said, so if I go 120, 110, you are coming. He said, what will you be doing here when I'm gone? Everywhere we are going together. He said, when I go, he said, 120, sharp, bam, I will go. Then, you 110, you will come. He said, if I go today, you come tomorrow. And you're not, you're not allowed to, this is the kind of people you should follow. See, and you are not allowed to go before me. Come older than you. You are not allowed. Now let me show you something. Don't 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 measure your Christian work by the experiences of some men. Don't say uh, you know even that even sometimes some things happen and we don't understand it. Sometimes even a man of God can lose his child. Is that what is written? Is that the will of God? And I'm showing you why all of you must grow. Because let me show you after some time that you have been hearing what you have been hearing the word. Right? If you refuse to grow, you, if you are sick, the pastor will pray for you and nothing will happen. You don't get that's the danger. That's why you must that's what I teach you and your faith you must increase. Have you not have you not read? Paul said, Timothy, have I left him? He said Timothy was it Titus, have I left him I have left him a letter sick. And I'm going to wonder, so Paul, why did you get to him? Why didn't Paul pray for him? To be healed. But well, Paul in family and everything it was ongoing. Ministry, oh yeah. But well, Timothy have I left in him. Titus have I left him a lot of sick. So it comes to a point where God, even God expects that you would have grown. When you were first born, when you first came into the church, right? You'll be sick, you will lay hand, you'll be healed. You'll be happy. Hey, hey, hey. My man of God is amazing. My man of God is powerful. Then after some time, you've been hearing the word. And you're expected to have grown and you refuse to grow. Or you have not been engaging. That's why I said, if you are here and all you are just doing is just while you wait time, time will expose you. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Time will expose you. Time will become your judge. And time can be cruel. Because a lot of time, by virtue of being consistent and you know, consistent with time and faithful to a degree, okay, you have gone through some of the classes, foundation class, um, uh, workers in training and all that, and you have become a worker and after some time of course we we'll begin to trust you with the pulpit right but if you ref- if you refuse to actually engage to increase and work strong in faith then there will be a problem are you getting what I'm saying now pray for you today you are sick you are healed tomorrow you are sick you are healed God expects you that the word you are hearing should, should quick, you should engage it for your growth and I'm showing you how to do it. So that's why some of you might notice that, oh, when you came in, I just said something to you, bah, it's done. Bah, it's done. Of course, there will also be, like, there, will, there, will be there might be unique situations where you will come to me and say, sir, there are, are you done to? but there are some things you should be able to deal with. Because these things are the heritages of, they are the heritage of the sons of God in Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are blessed. You are blessed. Amen, right off your feet. Shia pretty cadidias in the Hatti Kinema and the Radiaste. Revide and Sacria di Manehadi Vina Castaliasha. Revene Cadesis in Renan Gradia Vina has the legation and the Yata. Revina Gadabalian Rigadiva. Go ahead and pray the Holy Ghost. Shia Brada Banda Legadabala Gadaba. She Brada Gades. Brett is the Vidicate Congress in Vidigas Kirivinahata. Merenda Sikitiligidiba, Rativina Gadagada. Rather the better giddy giddy bar, rather the degree bar. Shatika tapalante get the giddy 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 giddy. Rusiti giddy gen giddy giddy giddy. Ratan de get the giddy giddy. Shabataka taka de giddy giddy giddy. Jalam break the giddy giddy giddy. Shaban de la cariante get the giddy giddy giddy. Thank you, Father, for your word I've heard. I will never cease confessing your word. I will never cease from speaking your word. Your word is my confession. Your word is my great profession. Your word is my reality. What you have said, you have said. I believe your word and I speak it. I believe your word and I speak it. And because I dare to speak it, I have what it says. I have what it says. I have what it says. 
I have what he says. I have what he says. Whatever your word has said, I believe it and I speak it. Paul said, and we have in the same spirit of faith, we believe and therefore we have spoken. I believe, therefore I speak. I believe, therefore I speak. By my words I am purified. By my words I am purified. By, by my words I am strengthened. I am encouraged. I am encouraged. In Jesus' name. Sakati am now hear the Lord that if you will learn to do everything that you have heard that you will now realize that you will no longer be discouraged as you used to be discouraged hallelujah your, discour your discouragement after some time discouragement will become alien to you when was that you discouraged? when was that time you were discouraged? you can't even remember hallelujah you learn to speak the word shabina kam veno koskorian denagades Elebre divina kaskeli embrigation ay man divini gidi gidi ba pratik eskeli adigada. Then you will notice that when you were weak, you have become stronger. When you were weak, you have become stronger. And then you will notice that the weakness you used to have in your life, the weakness you used to feel in your body, that you are always tired. Always tired. You do a little work, you are tired. You do a little. You do. A, you, you, you take on a little task, you are tired. You want to sleep. You do. You work for two hours, you want to sleep for five hours. And you will notice that that weakness, that weakness, is gone. That weakness is gone. And then you notice know that you cannot go on for days. You could go on for days and not be tired. And not be tired. Because this is your reality. Shakam ready when has stay. Menda digi digi di barada gada bosh. Lekren de vediga. Skeli ambri gidi vons. Elem bidi gidi gidi skiri adisi tike teliga radabas. Berisi katom bregi de lega dabas. Ajaba da dike lego da padogodos. Errege de digi digi. Now when you do this, you will notice that sickness cannot stay in your body. Sickness cannot stay in your body. You'll be much more healthier. Much more healthier. Much more healthier. Much more healthier. Siva Langodo Bigidiba. And then you will notice that you really have accidents. A pradiki di gidiga badogodabosh. Living a kaskaria da baliat in a garas. That fear of accident is gone. A shiga baladim in a godogodo di shalamba de gidiba. You are always afraid. You are always afraid. Every, every time you have to board the bike, there's a fear in your heart. Every time you have to, you, you enter, you enter car, all that fuse your heart, all that you find yourself thinking is, what if this car, what if this bike, what if this bike, that fear is gone. That fear is gone. You are free from that fear. Shablika around the kisses is in a guy. A pretty city can delegate the giddy giddy Come, sir. Ravide Kedalian to the giddies. Eriza Patija de la Cassidy and Tagianta. Menesizila Gobrin de Vigidish. La Sidi Katam Brigidi Gadabash. Stand here. You are like a tender plant growing up beside a large tree. Shabra divena kasilia and dideges. Revidige de kaskalia and digidiba. You are growing under the shade of a mighty tree. Sivi and koli envregidas. But you will grow up to be a mighty tree. You will grow up to. That's what I saw. Shiblan re de kasandi anti de gadabosh. I saw you, not as a man, I saw you as a tender plant growing up. Very tender. Very, very tender beside a very mighty tree. And I saw that there was, and, and, and I saw in the spirit that there was potential in this tree to become a, in this, in this tender plant, to become a mighty tree. My cast 